Right, so we're going into Water's Edge in the dark. What are you doing, you lunatic? It's got floats in Germany. So. Don't know, don't be surprised, but you know wood, it floats in England as well. You <laughs> <laughs> job. Right. Oh! Yeah, this is a bad idea coming. That's a bad idea coming down here. Can't see anything. Bushes, <laughs> trip hazards. I can see a, a claim going in. Head. So yeah, uh, we won't mention Jonathan falling over, we didn't get it on film, but... Well that's a nice insect bite you've got. He's not injured. Yeah, sorry about the light, um, it is dark now so I've got a super bright light on. Hey, it's an Aldi special that, dodge bollocks. Got to get this out of here. Boom. Is on. Oh, there you go. I'll do it for a minute. It's on, Johnny. We've got a brew coming. Have you got a thing for stirring? No. I don't even know where cup is. So I'm off to the bike for the special cup. You know the Motor Trip TV cup. There it is. So you know, at some point in the future, these things, every man and his dog will want one. <laughs> no, not. Boiling. Let's get a brew on. I'm not going to say, your, your cup's rather dirty, that's all I'm going to say. Look at that foamy coffee, looks lovely. Oh, I'm going to put my finger in it. Right. <laughs> you put your finger in your coffee. <laughs> Do you know what, it went dark really quick. Yeah. Like, surprisingly, caught out quick. We were going to make a brew while it was still light and suddenly, somebody switched the light out. <laughs> Need that in the morning? Well, I don't know. I'll put it. What are you going to do with it? We've got that. For the toilets. Because we it was joint booking, they give us one car to share for the toilets and showers, which is not not convenient, really, if I'm honest. Because in the middle of the night, I need a wee. I've got to wait Jonathan for the card. <laughs> so after all the shenanigans today, um, being in the rain, everything being wet, blah, 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 I'm here transferring the footage from... Well, obviously, the camera that I'm speaking to you on now, which you can't see, but what you can see is I've got to get the footage out of this, which is the drone, all wrapped up. The sim, obviously, I never said SIM card then, the SD card's in here. That's the 360 with its cover on. Need to get the card out of that, and the one that's normally my chin, the other GoPro, and obviously off my phone as well. All needs to go on here. As you can see, there's quite a lot of footage on each one. It does take a while. So that's that, and then I've got my watch charging on the off the power bank. That's three spare batteries. That's three GoPro batteries. They've already been charged. Um, all this lot's been charged already. Uh, on top of that, I've not actually got the route ready for tomorrow so it's a bit of an improvised route because of the weather we're trying to um, trying to avoid certain situations so I've got both sat nabs here I don't know if you can see these um, that's Jonathan's Zumo and then there's my BMW Nav 6 which is also a Garmin they're both Garmin's what I'll do is get them both on the laptop and get the routes programmed in so we've both got the same route put them both on the sat nav so we can get going in the morning we've got quite a lot like yesterday i mean today has been a massive failure we did we went to bed early we got everything we got away early uh, the intention was to get loads of miles done today and it just never happened because traffic oh the traffic's horrendous but you you had no other option because 
coming through the mountains, you're just going through a valley, and so there's no other way. You've got to just keep following that road, and yeah, it, it worked pretty. It were hard work. I'm um, hoping tomorrow is not the same. Oh, I'll be gutted if it is. Uh, we need to make some progress tomorrow, otherwise we're going to forfeit. This is the problem. So when we get to Black Forest, we want to spend two nights in Black Forest. If tomorrow's like today, we're going to have to forfeit a day and we'll end up spending one day in Black Forest. So I don't, we don't really want to do that, but risk the chance of getting home late and being late for work on Monday, next Monday. Anyway, I think that'll be it for me tonight. Good night, I'll see you in the morning. Every morning starts the same. We pack away a wet tent, we get on a wet bike, and get on the road and start our journey in the rain. It seems a strange thing to say, but after all this time, this is starting to feel like normal. In some ways, I still enjoy the ride and I enjoy the view. I've forgot what sunshine's like. However, rain does cause problems for the mic. Apologies for the sound. Wet and cold. Nine degrees. No, it stopped raining. I'm going for that. It's still cold and windy though, bloody hell. Well, one thing at a time, eh? Let's get rid of the rain first. And then we'll work on the temperature. An extra 10 degrees would be absolutely superb at the moment. If we bring it up to 19, 20 degrees, I'll be happy. What's the chances? 25 would be even better. Pointless buying this bloody jacket, weren't it? Absolutely. This road leads us into Liechtenstein. Uh, so we're going to be leaving Germany, going into Liechtenstein, and then into Switzerland, all in the same day. So, and then back into Germany, hopefully. We may not get back into Germany today, or we might do. I'm hoping we do. So it might be a case of Germany, Liechtenstein, Switzerland and Germany on this route. That's the plan anyway. It's like cowboys and Indians. Listen. Bloody hell, there's some heavy machinery, there's some big work going on, or there will be. Right. Come on sunshine, I can see you. Get over here. Warm my little cockles up. Oh, it's windy today, you can see that with this little thing down here going like the clappers. A little windmill. Yeah. Cold and windy. Oh, hang on, I think we've got a bit of sun on us then. Just for a glimpse. Oh, I felt warm for a second. Oh, yes, turn left at the stop sign. With pleasure. We'll go in sunshine. Oh. What a bike is here. Yeah. Oh, sun! We've got sun! We're in it! Get out! Oh, we've shared the buildings and everything. What's going on? Oh, sun and bits of blue skies. It's 12 degrees now. Oh, come on. We're in double figures. Life's so good. I've got a butty and a cake in my top box, the sun's out. <laughs> what more do you want? A few more degrees would be nice. That's quite cool. 
They do seem to go the extra mile, don't they, with the you know decorative bricks and things like that, and just finish things off. It does look quite cool. Well, I suppose it's traditional, I suppose, and they're just keeping it up. There's nothing wrong with that. It's good to have a bit of tradition. Oh, we're going into sun now, look, you can see it's on the road, in the field. Oh, God, yeah. Come on, get some vitamin D. Can you get vitamin D through three layers of clothing? That's the like four I've got on, if you include the T-shirt. Got a T-shirt on, Under Armour jacket. Got my biker jacket, and then my waterproof overlayer. And I'm still cold. Unreal. Yeah, the other thing to mention on video, um, a few days ago I noticed, probably about four days ago, I noticed a spot kind of lump on my neck. Um, obviously something's bit me or stung me or something. Anyway, it's not going down, it's like four days later since I noticed it, and it's, it's still really sore and big and swollen. Now, I did probably what you're not supposed to do last night, and I scores the crap out of it. Um, but I need to put some on it, I think. And it's right on the collar of my jacket, so every time I turn my head, it's rubbing on it. It's irritating it. So yeah, I might go on with an next red. Oh, it's bumping corner and all. Just as you start to lean over, it bumps, which is never good. Nice road, or it would be, it would dry. Oh shit, I'm speeding. Looks like a little waterfall or something coming up here. This would be nice. Look at that. I don't know if it's meant never seen one like that. That's cool. Oh yeah, there's a bit of a mist across the road. Just getting to the point where I could do to just hop off the bike for five minutes. Bloody hell, we've got some funny bends coming up. Have you looked any sat nav? It's all that about. Yeah, I'm just going to take it one bend at a time because it's, it's a right massive. Uh, it gets confusing when you the, the line you're following goes over itself and over itself. You, it's difficult to follow it. So we're going up roundabout, second exit. Oh, wait. Right, Breg ends, I think. Why did you just say that? Oh shit. Enter the tunnel? Is that what it said? What the hell's going on here? Round and round the mulberry bush. Yep, enter the tunnel it did, sir. That's never heard, and that's a command I've never heard me sat enough, sir. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Trouble is, all them, all them twists and turns we've got now, and now we're sat and have a loose track now. Let's be cut off. It's dry under here, that's nice. What the hell is that? Another long bugger, Jesus! The fucking tunnel making world champions! Oh. oh, stand up with your achy bum. Half a kilometre. Sorry, it's 1.3 kilometres long this tunnel. I need to
need to get it left lane because we're going left when we get out. Oh god, this sat nav thing's all over the place now. Come on, give some commands. Turn left onto Rheinstrata. We've got split screen and all sorts of shenanigans going on right now. Nice post, look at that. I like that type. Oh, here we go. And we're off. Speed limit 60 on here. Get our burnings before we start speeding off. <laughs> Make sure. Yeah. Definitely a change here. I'm wondering if we are in Liechtenstein because it does seem a lot different. Temperature 16 now, crikey. They're breaking out of a blazing hot, yeah. Breaking out in a sweat soon. Not likely. It took me an hour to thaw out. While I was riding along, the discussion came to the fact that there's nothing open on a Sunday in Europe. It's a bit like it used to be back home. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely go back to that, um, how it used to be at home. Probably 80s, I think, last time they did. But, you know, everything on a Sunday is just shut. You can't get nothing. I think they should, should do it. I mean, it's just greed, isn't it, that they stay open. But if you knew it's off on a Sunday, just a shopping Saturday, wouldn't you? It's not like you're, you're going to starve. You just get your stuff a day earlier. And then you've got like people chill out then on a Sunday because there's nowhere to go. So you just relax. Well I do anyway, but wife does the shopping. So she can go whatever day she wants. <laughs> I don't think she likes it when I go shopping. Shopping bill goes up. I pick all sorts up. <laughs> There's all sorts in the basket when we get to the till. She goes, have you put that in? Yeah. What about that? Yep. She's not bringing you again. Never go shopping when you're hungry. You always, <laughs> you always buy a load of stuff. Buy a load of crap. But that's what I do though, I go round. It's like last time I went round and I'm like, oh, Aggies. Oh, I've not had Aggies for ages. So I put that in the basket. She went, what have you done that for? I says, because I like Aggies. I've not had it for a bit. Because, you see, when she's on her own, she won't buy supply because she don't like it. Kippers, I'll throw them in. She doesn't get them normally. Yeah, we're going left here. Left. CH? What's the CH stand for? Left turn. CH? Must be named at place or something. A re abbreviation. Never seen that before, so that's different. Although we didn't know it, we was leaving Austria to enter Switzerland. CH is the abbreviation for Switzerland. Because CH stands for Confederatio Helvetica. Dagestan. Well, this looks like it, it was a... Um doesn't it? Well, it's like a border thing. We're I think we're entering something. Confused now. So what happened to Liechtenstein? Must have gone through it.
So it's official. Welcome to Switzerland. Switzerland is famous for cheese, Swiss Army knives, watches, and of course, chocolate. It's also pretty good for riding motorbikes through. This guy's going that slow, he looks suspicious. Where are we going here now? A bit confusing. Yes, yeah, so welcome to Switzerland, we think. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but as you've already seen, the next video starts in Switzerland. Surprise, surprise. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.